Hello everyone, it's Katrice and I welcome you to this new episode of Chrono Arc and something seems quite different right now. Well, let's just check it out. On another note, there has been a number balance patch coming online. And uh, our run from before is ended. Basically, uh, my friend Rad, you might have met him already, told me that this scene will cancel the run, so we will not get uh, the fifth stage, uh, the sixth stage, sorry. So, even though we had a really good team and a really good run, we are certainly not going to see the final stage, and whether we should have or could have defeated the final boss with it. Oh, I didn't want to skip it. Oh no, that's way too fast. Did I turn it off in time? Nope. Can it stop? Oh, cute girl hugging Azar. Stop. I I want the order to stop. I cannot read this fast. I can read this fast, but n I will not press that button ever again. Apparently, you cannot undo it. Okay. Okay, I have to concentrate to be able to halfway read all of that. And no, I'm not actually reading all of that. I'm not that fast, but I cannot turn it off. Did I manage it? Nope. Hello, Lucy. No, I probably we know Lucy. And that's Jane, and that's Hine. I wish I didn't press that button. I didn't know you cannot undo it. Can I press escape? No. Can I press enter? Space! Ah! Thank god! How was I supposed to know that? Okay. <laughs> and yeah, I knew this is Hein from the uh, character teasers. Okay, we actually can read now. I'm very sorry. Oh my god, that was painful. Oh, I mean, I haven't seen Haru, the girl with a weird hair color, in a few days. What's up with you, Azar? Oh, I got it. Today's the day of your confession. And that's Annie, but I'm very sure that's just Miss Chain. What? Wait, what are you talking about, confession? You said you'd confess when the project starts. I gave you some love counseling last time. Be quiet, will you? You just spurred that out. Well, somehow I thought you would. Haru will be online in a day. No more distractions. Good luck. You get dumb, they'll pat you back. You're right. You guys really don't care, do you? Come on, Lucy. Hein. Oh, uh, whoa. Hey, Annie. It's close. Too close. See you later, Azar. Phew, so unfortunate. Something's really off. I was obviously talking to Haru. When did I start talking to Lucy? Am I mistaken? Did I see something in vain? Is this a side effect? Accessing a virtual world. Hmm. Azar. Ugh. Ah, Haru. Where have you been? I'm surprised you disappeared. Wait, come over here. Haru? Uh, where are you going? Haru start, uh, suddenly started walking. Unaware of the truth, I followed Haru to a crowd. Uh, 
in a tap menu? I cannot. Haru! Wait, what's wrong? I'm out of breath. Don't think I've been running that long, but it feels strangely happy. So how is this week? I'm out of stamina for taking on my project? Haru's acting strange and some of my head is pounding. The excess in the arc, something important seemed to be twisted. Haru. Azar, the arc project seems like a success. Huh? Yeah, that's what I said. You know, Azar, the arc project. Do you think it's gonna end well? What? Azar, do you want the arc project to succeed? What are you talking about? I don't understand what you mean. Of course it has to succeed. We have to protect the future of mankind. You know how much effort we've put into this project. I want the art project to fail. What? What do you think is art? This project fails. What do you think will happen? Hold on, Haru. What's wrong? What do you mean to fail? We're already we are already here. It's already a success. Something's up with you today. If the project fails and the human race is destroyed. Azar, would you stay with me? Answer me. What's up with a human race and a project failing? What's up with you? I don't understand. If something's going on, please explain. No, it doesn't matter. Azar? Sorry. I'm so sorry. What do you... Uh. happening again. A massive release of information inside my brain, which I felt as soon as I connected to the Ark. My head's burning. Terrible pain as if every single brain cell is falling apart. Can't see Haru's face clearly. My vision grows weaker. Surrounding objects become indistinguishable. What? What is this? Couldn't hear what Haru said in the end. Haru's acting weird. Maybe she was fairly nervous. However, I couldn't say anything to her. In the midst of a terrible headache and storm and saw fear, I could do nothing but struggle in agony. At that time, what was Haru trying to say? I had just listened to her back with then, but something had changed. The darkened vision. The final words, which were barely audible. Please, don't find me. The final words and an indescribable pain. My sight was filled with darkness. Chrono Arc Fate. Disc zero, restart. <sighs> Wait, where am I? I was, the art project had started and... Can't think straight. I struggled to pick myself up after a, hazy after a hazy memory. Where am I now? I can move the camera with WASD. Tracking the mouse on the marked object. Okay. That's a wonky movement, I'm not gonna lie. Which. Pummeling against the wall and press the switch, for once dark room grew filled with light. Ah. Um, I was using the darkness, but suddenly the light found me and I had no choice but to frown. You know what, Azar? I felt that. Slowly my vision became clearer, and I began to see my surroundings. Is this the control center? Our project isn't simply about escaping to a virtual wo uh, world to avoid a grand catastrophe. Can't live in. Oh boy. 
could live in a virtual world forever, still it was uh, designed to cater for long-term cryonic use, so it wouldn't be impossible. The Ark Project was created to survive the Grand Catastrophe, not to provide an alternative li world to live in. That's why better systems are placed to occasionally monitor the real world from outside, from inside of the virtual world. Those facilities are placed to prepare for any problems that may arise within the virtual world. That was the purpose of the control center. It seems to be a private room located in the garden of the top floor. Of course, today was the first time I accessed the art program and entered the control center. I just know because I'm a developer. Even then, this place was kept under control behind the programmer. I don't know much about the control center itself. I would have helped him develop a control center if I knew he, uh, if I knew this was going to happen. First, let's take a look around. Still can't really do anything except the door. Huh. Expected this, but it's not. From extreme headaches and distortion of vision before losing consciousness, it was very difficult to guess that there was something wrong with the virtual world. It's a common cliche. It's rather an exciting development, actually. All because I went through it. What to do? Eh. Maybe it's not possible to break this. I should find another way. Simple but practical land. Softness makes you want to snuggle right into it. Normally, the chance of sleeping here after not being able to go to the outside world be. Shut my head. Living by the uneasy pub that came to mind. I should find another way. Bookshelf. An ordinary bookcase stacked with a variety of books. To the bathroom. Showering is tough, but it's nothing to just wash my face and take care of business. I don't think there's much to see right now. Huh? Then, I noticed something on the table. It's more of a sideboard, but that aside, it's my ID card. Everyone involved in the VR project gets an ID card. Various facilities within VR can only be accessed with an ID card. Should have received it during the opening ceremony, but I didn't since I suddenly lost consciousness that day. So my card, put it in my pocket. I don't know why it's here, but I can use this to get out of here. Let's get out of here. Use it. Alright. Wasn't sure what had happened, so I decided to stay vigilant and cautiously step outside. Oh, Azar! You guys. Oh no, I'm glad to hear that. You're safe. Was that a crying hind? God, that was cute. Hi, there we go again. Where is this wonderful place? Where are the others? The others? Oh yeah, I'm sure Haru and Hein. Annie, haven't you seen Haru? What's that again, Azar? What's that, again? Azar, I understand your love for Haru, but... I'm not kidding, something's not right. Well, you don't have to be so serious. No, uh, Annie, Azar's right. Something's not quite right. Well, we were just in the town square a little ago. You woke up in the control center, right? Control center? Sign said. Don't remember for sure, but if it, but if it was as if I had briefly lost consciousness, I had a terrible headache too. But it wasn't just us, was it? I had to look around and there were a few other people beside us that, left, that had also left that room. Kind of think of it. When I came around, I noticed that it was a private room. Were they all locked in there, or...? I don't know what happened at all. Did you guys come from the control center too? Yeah, I scanned my ID card in the door and it opened. Oh wait, what do you mean unusual? Think about it. Mr. Klein was supposed to come out and show people around after the opening ceremony. Is that so? I just thought it was some kind of event. This guy. If I looked to your brain... Okay. Okay, let me read it differently, because the localization here is a bit not, uh... They are a small team, so... This girl... Sure, if I looked into her brain, I guarantee there'd be nothing there. Wait, so this isn't part of a project? 
It's obvious! So, well, why are we here then? I don't know. Someone forced to move outside. Someone who? I don't know. Mr. Klein has yet to make an appearance. That means that Mr. Klein never will have for this to happen. Something is happening that even Mr. Klein doesn't realize. Hey, can we get out of here and think about it? Huh? I don't know what, who moved us here or for what purpose. If there's any problem, should we fight Mr. Klein? Hit the nail on the head. Well, yeah, let's get out of here. I know a structure for place, so there's no way out. Oh! Sis? Alright, it says, I know. Oh, hello. Long time to see you, Azar. Any? Hi. I don't think this is a good situation to be in. Hang on, sis. What did you just say? You can't find an exit? Correct. I checked and found that we have to go down off to a fifth floor. It's just downstairs. The fourth floor is blocked by iron bars. Stairs are barred up? Well, then let's take the elevator. We are made for emergencies like this. It's no use. The elevator isn't even running. What do you say? The elevator isn't working? Does she want me to tell... Does she want to tell me that power is down? Can't be. It's not the real world. It's the virtual world where everything works perfectly as intended. If this were reality, it would be possible that this was an accident. But it's possible in the virtual world. I have a theory. Someone artificially caused it. What the hell? Huh. <laughs> I rather asked that directly. Hi. We're in you in charge of the control center. I thought you screwed something up. Oh no. I have no idea what, what, what's going on right now. Don't make me laugh. It wasn't you, then who? Hey, where's the staff in charge? Come here, now! Then someone shouted from a crowd who also came from a private room. Whoa, that scared me. Alright, let us put this on hold. Let us put... Ah! Let's put this on hold for a moment. First of all, we need to calm things down a little. Please, call everyone else over here. The others? The civilians. There's not a very good atmosphere between Sis and Hein. I wanted to hear more details, but she, well, the shouting was getting louder, so I decided to follow Sis. It's directed by Sis, me, Annie, and Hein gather people uh, together in the middle of the plaza. 14 people in total, is it? Azar, there was no one in the other room, are you sure? Yes, I checked all the private rooms and haven't been opened yet. Where are we? I was, with my, I was with my family a moment ago. Where are the others? What about the opening ceremony? Researchers, can you explain what happened? Ladies and gentlemen, we fully understand that you could not be understanding what is going on. I'm very sorry to tell you, but there seems to have been an unexpected problem. We may have some changes from the original schedule. Please wait here for a moment until the problem is resolved. Hey, problem? What could it be? Power outage, maybe? I'm not sure yet, but it won't be a big deal, so just trust us in. How can you be so shameless? What did you say? I'm sorry, but I didn't hear everything that was said just now. Including the fact that even you don't know what's going on either. What? How can you solve this if you don't understand what happened? I... You're lying? I'm not lying. We're investigating the cause. Because, no, that's what. Hey, that's enough. I don't trust these guys. Let's go out on our own. It's a waste of time to stay here. That's impossible. How so? We have to get down to the first floor to get out of here. The stairs downstairs are bl the, the stairs down stairs. Yeah, that's just weird. The, sta the, the stairs downstairs are blocked by iron bars. Besides, even the elevators stop working. Miss Sis, the emergency network isn't responding either. We don't have a separate communication terminal, so it would be hard to get in, in touch with the outside. Well, then, can we not get out of here? It's the game of death! God damn it. Huh? Oh my god, it's Leon and she's super cute! I've seen it in a lot of movies and video games. A mysterious accident, people locked inside a building. It's the beginning of a game of death. And so the blood spling murder drama commences. Wait, why do you look so happy? No, the protector is functioning, so there's no danger. 
Don't worry too much. No such danger, but it isn't an ideal situation, is it? Well... Hey, so what's happening? You guys created this virtual world. You guys built everything and it's all gone wrong. What kind of scam is this? I have two things to make clear. One, the art project is executed for a thorough division of labor. Not all researchers are responsible for the virtual world. Two, even if you're a researcher of this virtual world, you can't control it at will. Even the researchers can fix it? Azar, I need you to explain this. Huh? Oh, sure thing. Well, for the commonly used virtual world program, administrators can manipulate code internally, but this world is different. Our bodies are currently in hibernation in real life. You have to remain in this program until the grand catastrophe is over. In this situation, what if one of the, uh, the administrators decides to ex uh, exploit the virtual world? Worst case scenario, the world co would collapse and we would all be stuck, frozen forever. Hmm. Mr. Klein deliberately banned any kind of internal manipulation to prevent this situation. If we go back to reality, we might be able to use the console, but there's nothing we can do from in here. Got it. Makes sense now. So, if you're, so you've ruled out any risk at all means. It might seem confident, but frankly this is so weird. The situation makes no sense at all. No one inside the Argus can be able to manipulate the virtual world, so how are we stuck here? If any of the civilians were to notice what was happening, I couldn't argue against them. Huh. Then, as for the reason we've moved here, you don't know who did it and there's no solution. Silence comes for a moment and only the sound of leaves rustling fills the plaza. The way the civilians are looking at us kind of stings. It's not that I don't understand how I feel, but this feels somewhat unfair because we don't know the cause either. I don't think it matters to them anyway. What are you going to do now? We're stuck in a place like this without much knowledge as why. This is creeping me out. I, uh, well, don't worry too much. If we find out we're goners, pe people outside will come and find us. So you want me to wait till then? My gosh. What kind of service is this? Is this how you operate on the first day? Yes, we are your customers. We trusted you and invested a lot of money. You can't do this to us. I'll tell my father to make sure you all pay for this. So keep that in mind. Uh, stop being so rude. They should be doing this on purpose. Shut up! Don't tell me what to do. There are two main groups within the Ark Project. One of our researchers that leave the project, which Mr. Klein, uh, Mr. Klein recruited. The others are sponsors that founded the development. Wait, Silverstein is a sponsor? He looks like a gang guy. In other world, words, the residents of this place. The Ark project wasn't only possible because of the researchers. Of course, you need money to do things. By the time cryonics have progressed to a certain extent, each country has already failed to function. The project managers uh, had to find a way to finance the development on their own. Because of this, most people opted for, sponsor for a sponsorship system. Civilians were able to participate in the project on the condition of helping to fund the project. Researchers carry out projects based on those donations. Of course, there was enough criticism saying it's a system that discriminates against the poor, but it was clear that it's a, it was a win-win system for both the researchers and the civilians. And so, the ARC project was founded. Thanks to famous businessmen, billionaires, conglomerates, investors, and many more, the ARC project has founded. There, was, there are many talented researchers from the ARC project, but we probably couldn't have gone on with the project without their investment. They trusted us and invested so much money into the project. It's understandable that they're mad that an accident has happened on day one off its launch. Hazard, that kid's a patron, right? Have any of our sponsors ever been that young? No, their family must be patrons because they mentioned their father earlier. What? So they think we can just a, a, shout at anyone if the parents are sponsors? Hey, Danny, miss, they're talking a little loud, they might hear you. I, as an elite pa patron, can easily guess it's 100% for researchers fault. Once this is settled, I'll talk to my father and see who's in charge, just... You're too noisy, kid. 
What? Kid? I don't care who your parents are. You only made it here thanks to your parents. Ooh, that's what I was thinking. Does it matter now? Are they going to get into a fight? Who are you? What are you in charge of? You want me to talk to my dad and get you fired? <laughs> that's cute, kid. This world doesn't revolve around you. Don't treat me like I'm a kid. You're a little kid, too. Oh, do I look that young? Stop. That's enough. Don't make a fuss when things are already chaotic. Keep your head down until we figure out what was going on. Same goes for the kid over there. Yes, got it. Well, he was the first one to pick a fight. So, what are you gonna do? Pardon? The researchers don't seem to be able to figure it out right now. You have no choice but to wait, right? Doesn't matter if you don't do anything like this. I think that might be a bit boring. What do I do? Can't even go downstairs. No, I can definitely go down to the fifth floor. The only thing blocked by the iron bars is the stairs down to the fourth floor. Hmm. Uh, hey, well, uh, first, shall we look around? Look around? I mean, um, oh, I agree with that. There'll be facilities on the fifth floor. In case there are other people besides us. Hmm, that makes sense. We haven't investigated this area properly yet. Also, this will be the first time for everyone else to experience this world. Well, I guess we'll have to split up and explore from now on. I won't force civilians to work, but please help us with the investigations if you feel like. Uh, we'd appreciate if you could pass on any information and you, you won't find anything. Before the atmosphere got ugly, the subject changed thanks to the best girl. There are no usable stairs or lifts, but still, the control center is a fairly large building. Also, sorry I have to drink in between a lot because I'm talking a lot. We can only walk around a fifth on six floors, but we might be able to find something if we search carefully. Others must have felt the same. They began to move alone or in pairs. She kept moving just like everyone else. Alright. Yo, Azarakun. Ilya. Oh, but Azar accepts my greetings. And he ignored me. Azarakun is the best. By the time the art project had fully begun, the earth had already nearly fro frozen over and people were unable to work outdoors. So Mr. Klein decided to renovate the underground shelter and use this lab. That's where our current real life buddies are now, frozen in time. Ilya. An operation architect of the art project. He is a senior member who start, uh, kickstarted the art project of Mr. Klein, converted the shelter into a laboratory. He has designed the various equipment for the development, and also supervises the project to prevent an interference, uh, to, to prevent interference as researchers. So far he might, might sound like a significant member of the art project and a capable man, but his characteristic, his characteristic is light as a feather. Oh! So basically, since we're in a virtual world, this doesn't even have to be how he actually would look. He could be an old ass man, but we're in a virtual world, so fuck it. There's a seriousness in everything he does, and he always drains people with typical smiley things. Especially Annie he had to see Ilya frequently because of the work. She avoided him and I once consulted her for stress from him. Fortunately, I don't face him often since we don't work together, but it's just tiring to deal with Ilya. You are always so relaxed that we don't even know what's going on. Don't worry too much. It'll all work, it'll all work some, out somehow. You're not going to investigate? If the others have already went to investigate. As Arkin, I'm an architect, but also direct the management overall. I'm supervising whether you guys are actually doing your job right. You guys just like him the most. I think you're the most relaxed one here earlier. That's a misunderstanding, my friend. Anyways, Azarakun, did you witness it? A civilian kid called me a kid. You guys look younger than my age, right? I'm sure you are. Well then, I have to go investigate, so... Hey, where do you think you're going? Please hang out with me for a while. I knew it. You were just chilling. Indeed, I don't want to talk to this guy for long. Started to fear what Annie was going through, so I decided to leave. A tan, flimsy girl with a hoodie looking around the garden. Huh? 
Suddenly, I felt a weird feeling from a girl. She doesn't look familiar, so she must be in a, a civilian. What is it? Oh. What are you looking at? It's rude. Is something on my face? No, it's a... Uh, you're a civilian sponsor, aren't you? Yeah. I'm just curious, so... Can I ask your name by chance? My name is Azar from a VR development team. Why is she staring at me? Uh... Tree... I mean... Beatrix. It's Trisha. It's Trisha. 100% Trisha. That was for confirmation. Oh. That's a pretty name. Here. Pardon me? This wall. Should we have a side of this wall as a private room? It's for space beyond. Oh, it has no function. It's just a visual effect. The 3D screen that looks like there, there's space behind the wall. It's a virtual world, so it was possible to build this interior. What is this awkwardness? You asked me a question. In the end, the conversation ended without breaking the ice. Beatrix seems to be more, much more silent woman than I thought. However, what on earth was that weird feeling when, uh, that I felt when I talked to her? It was a weird feeling. Is it just me? Okay, don't think I can go to the private rooms. That's weird. Sorry? Oh, never mind, I'm just talking to myself. Are you a researcher? Oh, yeah, I'm Azar from the VR en en Engine Development Team. Hey. Well, I bet it's okay. I'm Narhan. For now, I'm a cl clinical psychologist. A psychologist? By the way, this is troublesome. I didn't expect our uh, pro project to turn out like this. I'm sorry, this wasn't supposed to happen. Everyone is trying to figure out what happened, so we'll be able to leave soon. No, no, you don't actually have to be sorry. I'm pretty excited right now. What do you mean? Life without stimulation is boring. Aren't you even a little bit excited about what's going to happen? Honestly, I can't even begin to answer that. Would have been fun if this was a game or a visual novel, but this is our reality. Actually, most of the civilian sponsors are either rich or upper class. Tell that none of them are regular people. To that, I left Naran behind, looking around with a slight smile. Honestly, Naran seems like a cool dude, but also a little arrogant. Okay, there's a girl. She looks like the researcher in the uh, in our arc that, that grants us the uh, the upgrades. I mean, you're a czar, right? Oh, you remember my name, Laren? Of course, since I'm the youngest, I've memorized all the names so I don't uh, so that I don't be rude to others. The youngest. You don't think that's rude. It doesn't bother me that you don't know my name. Well I sometimes feel the wall between the senior members. <laughs> Cyclide says I'm a director manager who discuss about necessary terrans to scout for the Ark project. Laren is also one of the Terran talents scout scouted by them. Unfortunately, she was the last researcher to participate in the Ark project. When she joined the project, most of the major works had already been completed. Laren ended up working for, cor for chores and finishing up the rest of the work. I think it's fair enough for her to complain that about it considering her situation. However, she did her best at her job and never complained. Rather, she was always busy working, saying I just do what I have to do as a youngest. By the way, I'm ashamed of myself. I don't know what happened, but I didn't expect this to happen in the virtual world sector. It's okay, it shouldn't be a big a deal. There are lots of excellent staffs in our project, so it'll be solved soon. Oh, that's what I was thinking. It mustn't be, right? Yes. Honestly, I'm not so close to Laren. I don't have much time to work with her, so it's still a little awkward be to be around her. There must be something to continue with a conversation. So, what do you usually do, Laren? Pardon? Oh, I mean, the opening ceremony would have started by now. After that, we are actually free from here. I was wondering what your plans for the arc were. It's going to continue making a series of video games that I was working on. Oh, I see. I've been assigned to anything since I got here. I was thinking about investigating the Grand Catastrophe. Grand Catastrophe? I'm a little bit embarrassed to say this, but I was aware of a global cooling pretty early on. Oh, really? Yeah, there's a lot of research I filed. Uh, it was an unprecedented huge disaster that killed so many people, but it's still a very interesting subject from a scientific approach. 
This girl's a nerd. Is that so? In the early day of a grand test. I. I don't control this. You know? Um. <laughs> anyway, we don't know exactly what causes global cooling, but it's clear that humans have done most of the environment. Uh, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm so excited that I've talked too much. That was... Well, actually, it's okay because I'm interested in it. I'll call that productive talk. You sound sarcastic. I must be wrong, right? I'm not at all. <laughs> I need to fix this habit. Phew. Oh, anyway, we have to get out of here now, so please tell me the rest later. Really? Everyone else hates listening to me because it's too complicated. I'm so glad to hear that. Let's have more fun discussions together later. I remember. This girl was known as a human encyclopedia amongst our team. I don't know who gave her that nickname, but it's pretty accurate. Okay, we've seen everything we could have seen from this place. Guess everyone else downstairs. Hello, Annie. Ouch! Yikes! Are you okay, Annie? Oh, it's you, Azar. Yes, I'm fine. It's alright. Are you heading there to investigate just like all the others? Yeah, but why are you coming back? Have you done your research yet? Nah, not yet, but it's too crowded over there. I was going to go the other way around. Would it be more efficient to split into groups and investigate? That's one way. Man, anyways, what's all this? Just when I thought I was going to start my happy life in the Ark, I knew something was go had to go bad eventually. Oh, by the way, didn't you say you were nervous yesterday, Azar? Maybe we should have rewritten our checklist. Nah, that was a little different from the current situation. <sighs> Can we do? We need to figure out what happened first. But let's not worry too much. Even if you're really stuck here, Mr. Klein will be working hard out there. He'll get us out soon. Yep. Any said and I wore a br bright smile on her first, tapping me on the shoulder. I've been healed over and over again by Annie's positive and bright personality. Annie's a mechanic who handles a variety of tools. She works in various fields including architecture, repair, demolition, and dismantlement. So she can build anything and also destroy anything. She's in charge of maintaining facilities within the management team. The maintenance and construction of various facilities across the institute is led by her. Because for easygoing and bright personality, it's impossible to dislike her. Unlike her colleague, Ilya, from the same management team. I also got a lot of help from Annie when I was struggling to adapt to the project after I joined. We are similar age, so now we are great to you, including Hein. And maybe soon, Haru, Azara's sweetheart, will come to rescue us. What? My sweetheart? Love, you're right. <laughs> yes, you'd better admit it. It's a shame, Azar. You would've confessed to her right away, wouldn't you? Azar, what's wrong? Oh, uh, nothing. I had a dream about Haru yesterday. Hmm, were you too nervous about confessing your love to her? Would you stop connecting everything to the confession? Uh, well, you know, people say dreams mean the opposite. Everything will work out. Don't be so worried. Ahem, <clears throat> mic test, one to three, mic test. What was that? Isn't that Scissor's voice? A broadcast? Oh, look at this. There was a broadcasting room right in front of us. On air. I think Scissor's inside. I'll take a look. And he walked into the door with an on-air sign. Right. We have built a broadcasting facility. This is right there. I better take a look. And I go to... Oh, that's best girl. Oh, that's another best girl. Oh my god. Uh, hello. Oh, Leon. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. Why is she so cute? Yikes. I'm so sorry. Did I scare you? Oh, it was you, Azar. I'm sorry, I'm just surprised. There are various teams working on the R project, including development, operation, research teams. The project is cur uh, carried out under the supervision of each team leader. Leon is the leader of the development team that I belong to. 
But unlike the other team leaders, she has a weak personality. She gets scared easily, can't make eye contact with others, and stutters a lot. There's no one quite unsuitable for a leadership role like her. Thanks to her, I feel like I have to take care about, uh, of her even though she was my boss. However, there's a reason why she's a team leader. First of all, she, she's incredibly smart. She's in charge of cryonics of the art project. It isn't an exaggeration to say that she takes care of the most vital part of the project. Nevertheless, she doesn't think she's an expert in cryonics. She was still a mystery to me because she never told me about her past. I can only assume that she knows Mr. Klein well. Thought we grew pretty close while working on the art project's development team, but it still seems like there's a long way to go. So, it's the elevator we mentioned earlier. Ugh, yeah. The stairs are too hard to climb, I thought maybe we could get done moving the elevator to the first floor. Talk with Annie about it, but just now, but right now, she can't fix it. I see. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm the leader, but I couldn't have it all. Oh, don't say that. We haven't really figured out what happened yet. You don't have to apologize. Well, still... Still, if you're really stuck here, Mr. Klein and the others will be here soon to rescue us. We don't even have to eat, because we are in a virtual world. Take our time and investigate more. You are too chilled out and calm, Sar. I wish you were a team leader instead. No way, I'm not a great candidate for team leader. Leon, you're doing great. Keep it up. Caught everybody's attention earlier, just as things were about to get out glee, alright? Sure they would have fought each other if you weren't there. I just happened to be... Be confident. People relied on you when, when we were preparing for project. Okay. I, I'm more confident. Confident. Leon lacks far too much confidence for what she can handle. I'm not lying when I say I have often relied on her, but, she's, uh, but she needs a confidence boost sometimes. I love her. The lift. We should get up. We should give up on it. Oh, that's angry, dude. Oh. How... How are you? Are you a researcher? Yes, I'm a Zarb from a VR engine development team. I'm Silverstein. Executive director of a Wild Cane Enterprise. Oh, Wild Cane. It's a pretty famous company in the West. We deal mostly in construction or financing. Casino business. Oh, I see. You're awesome. Well, certainly not mediocre. By the way, what's this place for? Oh, I think this is for lounge. Control centers prepare for work of researchers. We also prepare facilities where you can rest during work. Civilians can use everything except for research purpose facilities. <laughs> I have time to rest in a place like this. I have to get out of here ASAP. Except because you guys couldn't handle it properly. It's... Jump. I joined the VR project with a ball. I'm, I mean, the CEO. I'm his right hand man. Can be apart from him uh, for, for this long. So hurry up and do something. Shit went raw. So clean up a mess you've made. Okay, I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's no point in getting mad at a young kid like you. I talk to whoever's in charge. Hey, I'm sorry. I have a low boiling point and get excited easy. So don't annoy me too much. No, it's okay. Sure, I'll help you find if you have any work to do. Just let me get out of here. I don't deal with big brains though. <sighs> My legs are tired. Wild Kane. There's no way I have an urban name. The largest gang organization from the West. Silverstein said it's an enterprise, but it's just how we market their image. It's actually a large, <laughs> large criminal organization that dominates the West. There are rumors of gangsters involved in the team uh, the art project. I didn't know the rumors were real. Sure, a wild king would have supported a lot of money. Well, he doesn't look remarkably violent or mischievous. Still, he's a wild king executive. I don't know if I should be on my guard. I should get out of here already. Fine! Ah! You scared me! Oh, go! Oh, God, it's all it was you. Don't freak me out like that, please. There you are. What you got? 
Uh-oh. Speaking of the investigation, there are so many people I've never met before, I feel nauseous. This introvert is Hein, who worked with me on the VR development team. Hein and I met quite a long time ago. The VR project wasn't the first time I met him, but an experience working together when we worked for another game in the past. So exaggeration that Hein is a top level programmer and one of my best friends at this point. He always finds it very difficult to deal with people. I had a pretty awkward relationship with Hein before I got to know him, but even after getting close, this guy's behavior is more often to make me sigh. Still, Hein was my trusted friend. I was quite surprised when we reunited on the art project, but I was glad at the same time. Don't be scared, you already know half of the researchers anyway. Don't know, I barely talked to anyone except the dev team. I've never seen this many civilians before. What if someone just walks up and talks to me? Hey! Ah, it happened! <laughs> You're still so easy to surprise. How long have you been? You're... Oh, but... Baby! Yeah, that's my name. Baby! Why are you here? Oh wait, is that outfit? You didn't recognize me because of a helmet, did you? Or to say hi, but my timing isn't the best. Baby, I'm so glad to see you. Never thought Baby would be here. I feel so much better. Fine. Is he your friend? I guess he's from the security team. I'm blushing. Oh, nice to meet you. You're a czar? Heard a lot about you from Hein. Oh, hello. I'm a czar from the same VR team as Hein. Here, take this. Is this a business card? All of our security team are warriors of a private military company, Ironheart. So he's Ironheart. And I'm the leader of Ironheart. My name is Bebe, the security lead. It's a pleasure to meet you. Contact me if you need some help after everything gets back to normal. I'll give you a, decount, uh, a discount. Did you just promote yourself? Are you advertising? It costs so much to maintain our troops, we gotta hustle. Whether the entire security is in charge of the private company, I see. Iron Art is in charge of it. On various days of the art project, the security team is a slightly diverse one. When entering a virtual world, the world was headed for an apocalypse. The result, people who had nothing to lose and out rioting. Projects around the world, including the Ark, needed to protect themselves with a certain amount of furs. For that reason, the art project hired a private military company, Ironheart. They don't have the uh, development uh, or operations directly, but their role is to suppress riots up to provide backup in case of an emergency. Ironheart needed to join the project to survive a grand catastrophe, so the Ark could build up a win-win relationship with them. No wonder you no don't know him, it's usually hard to get involved with the security team. You two seem to be close, how did you get to know him? First meeting with Hyde was so dramatic. I was on my way to another department's toilet because of the one I use I always use was clogged. At that moment I saw this guy. I was being bullied by a civilian boy who looked about eight years old. I don't know where to start. That's when Bebe showed up. He was literally my hero. Well, ever since our relationship progressed until we went to the toilet to get <laughs> Yeah, alright, I get it. I don't know. Bebe is the best! I saw security team training last time, but Spur is no joke. I mean, he's the security lead. I am quite surprised that Hein knew the leader of the security team, but also a little relief watching Hein feel comfortable with Baby. But wait, Hein, probably you're of the bullying, right? Do you know what room in front of you is for? It's quite different from the others. This room. Gee. Uh, wait a minute. Is there always a room here? Wait, you didn't know of this room? As far as I know, I was supposed to be a room over here. Azar, did you adjust anything? No, I never changed the map. If it wasn't you, who, built, who would have built a room like this? Surely it was Mr. Klein. I don't know, he would have let us know though. So both of you guys had no idea. Alright, let's go see what's in there. Oh, we should move a little more cautiously. You'll never know, and uh, you never know if you don't try. Can worry about the consequences later. Oh, wait a minute. 
Pepe opened the door and went inside before we had time to reply. Hey, is it always like that? Yeah, let's follow him for now. Is there any other place I can go to? The elevator doesn't work. We didn't talk to Pressel yet. And there's this room. Look at this, Joey! Delicious food is served unlimitedly! No, stop freaking eating and do the research! Close the door and open it, the food is refilled! That's amazing! How does that work? How am I supposed to know that? It's not hard. Food is just designed to come out like that. This is a virtual world, you remember? Oh my gosh, who are you? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for eating what I wanted. Huh, I don't care. You, have as much as them, uh, you can't have them as much as you want. It's unlimited anyway. Really? I think you're such a good man, Joey. Shut up, I have to investigate. Are you from a patron family? Yes, my name is Kara, the fallen angel of darkness. Even put it in the name card. Well, she's Caron. Apparently, she's Caron. What? She's lying. This kid's name is Merlin. She's fucked up. Not swearing, Joey. I'm Joey. I'm the elite of the elites. You look young for a researcher. You better be careful in front of me. Father's famous Joel. Joel? Joel, the previous owner for shelter? Yeah, that's me. Joey, the great Joel son. Merlin may look crazy, but she's the heir of Eclipse. Joel is one of the early patrons. He, was he is a self-made businessman who started from the bottom. His research lab had prepared for our project that, uh, that was originally owned by Joel. Yeah. It is told that he, that he donated the shelter for the project. Eclipse, the company that Merlin will inherit, also uh, has a fifth offices all over the world. It's a leading conglomerate that produces all kinds of electronics, ships, and military products. Eclipse donated over half a donation for the ARC project. It's on a different level of wealth compared to the other patrons. While we are just young kids, there are future successes of a greater family than I expected. Both of them are from world-class billionaire families that anyone would know their name. Surely a child of such family deserves to be proud of oneself. Some researchers don't appreciate how and trade is like a piggy bank. I'm worried for my father could put you out all out cold and freeze you to death. So you better behave well. Well, everyone's frozen already wherever cryosis though. Besides, Joel's a nice guy. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> Shut up! Don't talk back to me! By the way, do you not do you do know each other? Yep! I and Joey knew each other since we were around. young. Father of us, father of us two have been close friends. Hey, who's your friend? Joey Matara, but he's a very nice kid. His father spoiled him, so please don't judge the book by its cover. Yeah, I could tell. He's imbeciles. Anyways, you, what's your name? Let's tell you your name when I tell you mine, you idiot. That's how Joey starts a conversation. See, Azar from a VR engine dev team. Azar. Huh, if a plain name is the same. Azar? Ooh, did you happen to be bad, Azar, the director of Quarter Life for Legend of Silver and Call of Fantasy? Really? Really? Half Life for Legend of Zelda? And. Okay, Call of Fantasy could be many things. Oh, you know me? Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> oh, you scared me. There's no way I don't know you. You're a world-class video game developer. Oh, I love COF so much. I couldn't play it much before I grew up in a strict family, but I had lots of fun playing it. Don't tell me you just directed it. Can I have your signature, please? It's an honor. I'll give it to you later. Why is a video game developer hired for this project? I don't know why. The virtual world was originally a game that I was making. Whoa, is this world of COF? It's not COF for the sequel to it. By the way, you guys can eat as much food as you want later. It's time to investigate. Officers are working uh, for us, so please help them. Uh, I don't know who's about to say this, but whatever. Oh, Joey, what are you doing? Come on, let's go investigate. 
You. Cheers for not billionaire patrons. We seem to be the youngest people in the control center at the moment. I like our energy, but I don't know if I'll be under control. Younger kids. By the way, Lucy was there earlier. Maybe she sat up there with Mr. Klein? My bad artist should get out of here first. Let's have a shit about COF later. Man, young Charon is great. Grown up woman with long, straight black hair was thinking about something. Hey, uh. Oh, hello. Hello. May I ask what you're looking at? Oh, look at this. The one pointed to the stairs was saying that. Is this. Someone said earlier that, that there were steel bars on the stairs, so I came here. Look carefully to see a lock with a countdown timer. She said, the number flashing red of a clock was decreasing each passing second. 15 hours? Still quite a lot of time left. 15 hours from now is... The clock here is tampered with. It's set for exactly tomorrow noon, since it's currently 7pm. Tomorrow noon? What is it counting down to? Does it mean that this lock will unlock it for tomorrow noon? Something else. Nothing bad is going to happen, is it? Well, we still have 15 hours. It's possible to do anything to it by force. I guess we have no choice but to wait for now. You're right. By the way, I should introduce myself. It's our first time meeting, right? I'm Pressel. I work as a priest at Barak's church, at Barak church, and preach God's messages. Barak, heard of it? A giant global religion that strives in many ways to create a clean world without evil. It's a religion with roots all over the world. You can see flyers if you walk a little bit of the streets. So you're a faithful one. I'm Azar from VR Engine Development Team of the Ark Project. It's a pleasure to meet you, Azar. Do you believe in God, Azar? God? I'm sorry, but I'm not religious. <laughs> what are you apologizing for? I didn't force you to believe. There was a time when I didn't have a religion either. I always said so. But if you change your mind, come visit me. It could be a turning point in your life, right? If so, I'll consult you with you sincerely then. Presto lightly smiled after saying that. She's far better than the religious ones who force me to believe, but somehow I feel this mysterious inviting aura from her. That's because she's hot. Anyway. Oh yeah, we haven't been in this room yet. Azara, oh, have you spoken to Sis? Sis says said blah. Sis said that she has already investigated this area. It's rather good look somewhere else. Sis. Azar, you're here. What was the broadcast? Nothing special, just a test to see, to see if the equipment works well. Can you hear me clearly? Yes. That's good. This broadcasting facility should be useful. Maybe we can bring everyone together. Sis is the management leader and general manager of the ARC project. Everything within the project goes with Sis's inspection at the end of the development. The final version of the again of its Sis reviews goes up to our CEO, Mr. Klein. It said she's the most influential person on the project, except him. Her work skills are phenomenal. She was set to have been at the top of her class, among other geniuses who had taken the super elite course at a young age, even before the grand catastrophe occurred. Hey, sis. Keep going. Well, we handled that somehow, but honestly, I still don't know about this. Why did this happen, you mean? That's right. When we explained to the civilians earlier we, that we can't manipulate the virtual world inside it, to be honest, I didn't think it made much sense. Talk, uh, taking people to the control center without any, anyone noticing, and locking down the stairs with bars that we didn't create and stopping the elevator. It doesn't make sense unless someone had planted it before connecting to this world. But even so, we would have found it during the final review. Anyway, the art project is not with the control of our development team. If everything happens, we're... Don't worry too much, Azar. Sis? I'm the general manager of this project. In addition to checking and managing everything within the art project, I have an obligation to take responsibility for everything that happens in here. I'll be responsible for whatever happens. There's no need for, for you to be pressured. So don't ever think too much. Focus on how to figure out the situation. What Sis said is right. 
Sis has always been cold and stern, but she has a responsibility worthy of her position. I guess this is why everyone was able to trust this project, do their best of a job. Bravo Fuse, there's something on my face? Oh no, I was kinda nervous, but I'm relieved. Thank you, Sis. You're welcome. Well, it's not good to be negative, but it's definitely a mystery. If this is some kind of accidental glitch, that's alright, but somehow... Never mind, it's only a possibility. The investigation counts before something that hasn't even that hasn't even happened yet. I have roughly uh, I have roughly finished looking into the broadcasting room, so please look elsewhere, Azar. All right. The only way to go now is G. We entered the mysterious room where was another door inside, in a very small, undecorated space. Wait, what? What is this room? Another door inside a door? Is it like a passage? I wonder what it's like inside. Huh? Oh, it won't open? Well, it doesn't feel like it's locked. Oh, look at the sign of a door. Open? Oh, okay, it's supposed to open after pressing this. Can't be, can't the door be opened? No, wait. Did you feel something shaking? It's moving! This is an elevator? An elevator? Isn't it a little big for that? Imagine a cargo. I often use it, use it to move military supply, supplies, but there are bigger ones than this. Even so, why is the elevator for cargo at the control center? I know I've never made anything like this before. I guess we'll have to check that out soon. As far as I know, the control center is a six-story building. We're going up. We entered from the fifth floor. So at best, we're going up to the garden. It's taking quite a while to go up just one floor. And then... When I woke up, the door was wide open, revealing an empty room and it seemed to absorb any noise. It opened. Alright, let's go! Mysterious room that didn't exist during project development, but who created it? A creeping feeling of anxiety rising inside us, we headed through the door. This place. The other gate was an empty cube-shaped room with nothing but a pillar sitting inside the center. I was surprised by the size of the room, but on the other hand, I was curious about what the room was for, so I decided to carefully step forward. Huh? As soon as I stepped inside the room, I felt an unexpected sensation. Be careful! The floor is softer than you think! Huh? What sort of room is this? Are these shock-absorbing uh, shock mats? I've seen these things at the gym! The mysterious room's floor, walls, and ceiling were covered in soft mats. This room is completely plastered in mats. It was the kind of place that would drive you uh, if you stay for so long. Who the hell made this room? <laughs> this place is awesome. Time to release my inner gymnast. Don't enjoy it too soon. But besides that, I don't think there's anything here besides the entrance. Check it out first. Can there be nothing after all this hard work? Baby said the walls surrounding the room were also made of the same squishy material. Since this is virtual world, this structure seemed to be work, uh, working sufficiently. Question is, why does this room exist? Mm hmm? Hi, Zor, look at that. Uh, while Baby was examining the wall, he pointed at the ceiling with his finger. He had something unusual. I think he he's pointing at the exact end of a wall that connects to the ceiling. Huh? Is that a door? Ben of a slightly erased wall, there was in fact a door. The door was placed so high up that it was out of reach for human height. It was in such a strange place if it wasn't intended for use. A door this high up? Wait, the other way we just took. Did it show which floor we are at? I just stepped out when the door was open and there was only one button inside. 
Does that mean we can go even higher? Considering the unnatural, unnatural location of the door? Probably. Fine. You don't know anything about this, do you? You keep asking me that. Who the heck built this place anyway? Control Center was designed by Hein. It's probably the first time he's visited this place in a person. But he knows inside and out better than any of us. There's no way we could have known even if even Hein didn't know. Can we somehow get up there? Not sure. The walls are too squishy, but I don't think it's possible without proper equipment. One thing's for sure, if this place is connected to somewhere other, somewhere other than the fifth floor. We'd better talk to everyone later about the door up there. Huge pillar lay uh, standing in the center of a cube chain sh shaped chamber. The pillar was solid and like a soft floor. It seemed to be supporting both the floor and the ceiling. What's this pillar for? Azar, any ideas? You're a child of the control center. How would I know if you don't? You're right. Sorry. This was the door we just came through. It's made of heavy iron. It must be impossible to open with a force just like the door on the outside. There's a button on the side, uh, similar to the one outside. Maybe to open and close the door. Azar was wrong. Are you leaving already? Oh no, we need to touch more. Think we looked around enough? Maybe looked around isn't the best part to put it. It's really spacious and there's nothing to it. After all, the door up there is the only clue we've got. I, uh, shall we go back for now? There's nothing more to investigate and I have a bad feeling about this room. A room that neither Hein nor I remember. A door that nobody knows where it leads to. This room is creepy, just as Hein said. Who built this mysterious room? And why did they build it? Alright, let's get out of here. As Hein said, it's a waste of time to stay in any longer. Okay. We left a mysterious room by pressing a button next to the door that came through. Uh, said that I was serious room. Press the button of the car and my elevator to start move again. It's a slight wobble. Where we will be able to get back, things could be worse, I suppose. Is this thing moving about a lot? It could fall at any moment. That's enough, don't jinx it. I can't wait to go back. Is there much further to go? I had a thought at that moment. There is a facility that neither Hein or I know of. This room may not be the only one. Maybe the control center was expanded without us knowing. May have been extend, extended above the sixth floor or, be, or down below ground. Well, that gave me chills. Is it anything to do with the existence of this room and the situation we're in right now? Imagine that nobody can manipulate the virtual world while inside it. But that's not the case at all right now. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Well, whatever we think now is just a guess. All right. Looks like we've arrived. Let's get out of here. Yep. Huh? What's wrong, Azar? Oh, is there a problem? Um, no, it's not a big deal. Something came into my side of my telly, but won't be something important. First of all, let's pay more attention and investigate somewhere else. I'm glad I was worried we'd, we'd be trapped here. I mean, we were already stuck in the control center. Let's talk about this room when everyone's here. It's split up. Still have more praise to explore. Catch you later. Serious room that even my VR, the VR manager of this project and I didn't know about. Even without any doubts and discomforting thoughts, we decided to disperse and investigate elsewhere. Ahem, can you hear me? This is Sis. Everyone, it seems like the investigation is over, so please gather at the garden of the sixth floor. It's a change what we have found. Now repeat this. Everyone, please gather at the garden of the sixth floor. Oh, she's actually using the broadcast system. Decided so to go out the garden since I've checked out everything on the fifth floor. I wonder what room it is. There's no way to know now. Funny. Huh? I came back to the garden after the investigation. I couldn't help but be spread of an unexpected sight. Save it again, huh? What's wrong with calling a criminal a criminal? 
Shall we in service to you with growling regard and staring at each other uh, staring at each other like they were going to kill each other? What's his name, Joey? I knew the kid was cocky, but can we root to even a wild cane executive? I admire you at this point. Stop it, Joey! What do you mean, Enterprise? You're a bunch of fucks doing illegal things. How dare you talk to us like that? You're the scums of the society. My father's a real businessman. Joey! Language! Huh. I've heard what a stupid child. You really think your daddy is that fair and square? Do you really think Joel made, made, made that success by itself, huh? Huh? How dare you think you know my, about my father? I don't know, but you started this. This is self-defense. But don't go easy on kids. Hey, he's trying to use violence right away. Slip your tongue inside, otherwise it will be chopped off by your own teeth. Ah, Joey! And there's Bebe. Enough. Huh? Who the hell are you? Falling into a child's tongue means you're not proud of yourself. You should know how to love up all such provocations if you're a real businessman. Alright, what kind of power do you... Let me go! What a hero! A hero! Aren't you ashamed? Try to go serious in a kid. I'm not a kid! Oh, Azar. What's going on? Oh, we walked around to investigate and said I had to pee for a member. There must have been a little argument between the two. Ah, uh, that's why. Are we all... Huh? What's all this fuss about? Says two civilians are fighting each other. What do you mean? You should have stopped them. I tried, but maybe we went. Don't rely on the security team. At least speak up and mediate them as team lead. Don't be so mean. Nobody else than Bebe can stop that big man. Anyways. Hmm. You. Him. You all try to show off. I get it. Get me out of here. People are waiting outside. You there. Don't confuse people and follow directions quietly. First thing we need to do is identify what's happening. Huh. How long have you been sitting here trying to figure out what's happening? You sloppy work wait for you stuck in a place like this. You've all been waiting for me. Are you all ready to welcome me? Huh? What was that just now? What was that? Didn't it sound like an annoying kid? Who's calling me an annoying kid? Wait, where is it coming from? Oh, it's from up there. Up? Heh, to introduce myself. I'm the legendary Burp Phoenix! That happened so suddenly. Suddenly a pair of blazing flame. It seemed like it was something off, letting my tension go away. It spread out like it's burning wings as, as if it was showing off. Of course, it wasn't a human. I think it's a living creature. This is a virtual world. The experience is not necessarily its true form. Ugh. Ugh. Bird? Bird just spoke? What, what's that with his chicken head? Oh my god, it's a cute baby birdie! Chicken head a baby birdie? That's so rude. To introduce me, I'm Phoenix, the legendary bird Phoenix. Phoenix? Yes, I am a legendary bird Phoenix. Wait. Where did this thing come from? This is this a monster like in video games? Did you guys make this? No, I don't remember making this. Who is it? Who's controlling this toy? Toy, you said! I'm a decent creature with an ego! Creature with flawless fireworks all over the place, calling itself Phoenix. No matter how virtual the world is, we had no choice but to pan him and Vince on schedule incident happened. The advent of Phoenix has created a synergy effect with the current clueless situation. It was enough to stop our brain. I fully understand you guys are confused. You don't understand, do you? You thought the project was going well, then you got stuck in a weird place and you don't see anyone else. Well, I can love it out for you. Do you know what's happening? Of course. Explain to you slowly, open your eyes and listen. Well, first of all, let me introduce myself. Once again, Phoenix, the artificial intelligence program that supports the art project. Artificial intelligence? Never heard of a support problem that you. Can I but was developed by Klein secretly. Is it Klein? No way, a top secret? 
Well, I think what kind of situation you guys are in is more important than who I am. I'll be curious if I were you. What happened to the project and why you guys are stuck here? Let me get to the point. You wanna get out of your safety and get back to the project? But you have to do something. What do you mean by something? Kill each other from now on? Uh-uh, I can't make you do such a common thing. Is that a common thing? Simple, there's only one thing you guys need to know, do now. Vote! Vote? What are we voting for? Pretty much. You guys have to pick a program master from now on. Program master? Whoa, what's that? Literally the master of the ARC program. We take the care of a console to deal with codes of the real world. Program master can change the world to world inside it. Now it works God of his program world. Huh? Manipulating the virtual world inside of it. As I said earlier, such a thing is impossible for the ARC program. So Klein wanted to build the ARC into a new home for mankind until the ice covering the earth melts. Kept reiterating that for... <laughs> I'm tired. He kept reiterating that uh, fact that re to the researcher that it's impossible. The virtual world should not be dominated, but be accepted as another reality that we live in. And what Phoenix said right now is a complete violation to Mr. Klein's ideas. God? Yes, with the authority of a PN, you can destroy and recreate the virtual world. You can create the heaven and hell as you will. Wouldn't it be fair to call the power of God? Whew. Don't be ridiculous, it's impossible to manipulate VR from the inside. We don't know what would happen if an, if an individual had such a power. Mr. Klein forbid internal manipulation, so it was, he was well aware of that. Oh yeah, Klein is the one who created a program master role. What? There's a lot you don't know yet. Why don't you list first instead of judging everything? Uh... The master system that selects PM is currently in operation inside this arc. First of all, let me tell you some rules about this master system. What? what? All participants have the right to vote for one participant to become a program master inside the vote post. Program master shall be, shall be won and elected by majority vote for all available participants. Only one program master can be elected. Multiple program masters cannot exist. Only available participant remains before the vote. That uh, that person will become a master without conducting the vote. Program master's authority cannot be transferred or waived to another participant. The elected program master retains the privilege until the virtual world program is, is terminated. Woo! It's hard to follow what it said. Master system? Can this virtual world be manipulated from the inside? And now now it's a prop program for VR project? Phoenix? Hmm. Can't say it. I can say uh, I know everything about VR project, but as a member of a team, I've developed the project for a period of, long period of time. I thought I knew most things. However, what the hell is this? All it talks about is things I haven't heard of. It wasn't just me. Other workers couldn't hide their embarrassment. Everyone is probably feeling the same. So why are you doing this? Huh? What? I mean, why should we follow what you say? He's right. All of a sudden, PM and all. I told you, you have to pick a PM to get out of this control center. Want a PM help you escape a small building in no time? Do we need that much authority to get out of this building? Hey. Before speaking about that, the proposition of a question is wrong. It's not about why should we elect a PM, it's... Uh, ask, why are we stuck here? As to why were we taken to a control center, right? Yeah, not long after we got stuck here, this bird popped out like it was waiting for it. This master system has something to do with us being stuck here. Great point, Narhan. You're sharp. That's right. Can't elect a PM at any time. No wonder this master system is an emergency system that can only be invoked in emergencies. An emergency? I don't want to explain so much, so to put it simply, a traitor. What? There was a traitor among the participants of the art project. A traitor who wants to take the control in Hogan, one of you guys here. That moment, as soon as Phoenix heard those words, 14 people each looked at each other's faces. There's a traitor, Amogus. Doesn't matter whether it's true or not, 
who are just unconsciously guarding each other. They are friends here, but also total strangers. Trusting strangers all of a sudden? That wasn't easy. Traitor? Who is it? Who's a traitor? I don't know. I'm sure there's a traitor, but I couldn't figure out who it was. What is that supposed to mean? Are you kidding me? Couldn't help it. First thing I had to do was predict the Ark before finding out who the traitor was. Taking control of the Ark. Why would anyone do that? This is not even worth listening to. There cannot be such thing as a traitor. Sis. We elected only researchers, civilians, and people who were verified through a strict screening. If there was such a traitor, I would have noticed it earlier. I told you not to judge too soon. There's an exception to everything. If I'm lying, why are you guys stuck here? That's... Sudden faint with tension, with signal disconnected, and none of facility structure. If any of us really wanted to take control of the project, the whole chain of weird events must have been the work... Uh, worked out my bad traitor. It was hard for me to believe that there was a traitor, but as Phoenix said, the current situation can be explained easily. Everyone must be feeling it too. Something unusual has already happened. This may be intended by someone. Does that mean the traitors locked us, locked us up in here? Why would anyone do that? Don't worry too much, though. You're fine. Yet. Yet? Certainly a dangerous situation. Would have been irre irreversible if I left it a little longer. But that's why I'm here. Just before the art fell into the hands of a traitor, I managed to activate the master system. What does that have to do with a traitor? Once the master system is activated, the traitor cannot do anything until the PM is chosen. So you intend someone to become the almighty PM to punish the traitor. Punish who? All of a sudden? That's it. Someone has to be the master if you want to leave the control center anyway. Do you understand the situation now? You mean you're saying you're helping us? Of course, I, he, I'm here to be a firm ally to help you. Uh, suddenly the story unfolds. The opening ceremony should have been over by now. I would have been tanning my, under the warm sunlight. None of us would have expected this to happen. Sis and the other researchers have been constantly questioning, but became silent now that they have given up or started accepting it. That's weird. What do you mean, Arhan? There are many weird things, but the strangest thing is that the betrayer can also be a candidate from the vote. What are you talking about? So there's a possibility that the traitor could become the PM. Huh? The traitor locked us up in the control center for some reason. The master system was activated as if it was all planned. We have to pick the PM now. The traitor's purpose is to take control of the Ark project. So if you become a master, would you be able to take over the project easily? This may also be part of a traitor's plan. What? You sure that chicken is not a traitor's side? I'm not a chicken, I'm Phoenix! Well, first of all, the system requires all available personnel to vote. Could not but include a traitor as a candidate. Are you kidding me? How am I supposed to pick a monster or something when I don't even know who the traitor is? So, you have to find out the traitor. What? Identify the traitor somehow before the vote begins. Put an innocent person know who isn't traitor as a PM. Protect the project, protect the project, but find out who the traitor is. That's the task you, for you guys are given. The Ark project was the only hope to survive over for his nerve. It's literally the Ark from the Bible. We leave no idea religion, go, good or evil, would divide mankind in front of a crisis and for extinction. But everyone would work together to survive without argument. In the meantime, I was a renegade trying to steal the Ark. A traitor is among us. I didn't know that at this time. Didn't expect this case would have ended like that. Should have realized it earlier. From the moment I accessed this virtual world, from the moment I've got involved in the Ark project, this irre irreversible fate has already begun running down to haunt us. To be continued. That's all for the main storyline we've prepared. The story is just the beginning. There are still many mysteries and interesting stories of the Ark to come for you. 
The story will be updated every update. Thank you for playing. P.S. Change the sanctuary, the final stage of the Twisted Land. New investigation team members and bosses are waiting to be unlocked. So you have to see this one, what you just did, in order to unlock the sanctuary now. I already know the sanctuary. All right. Also, this is Lauren. She hasn't changed at all. Uh. Uh huh. Huh. All right, but that's all uh, all the time I have for today. There's been a lot of good story parts, so I'm really happy. I hope I see you guys in the next episode of uh, of Chronarch when we do some more fighting again. Until then, have a great day. Bye bye.